We start with breaking news. We're getting word of changes for mask mandates in schools. Let's get right to CBS 2's Cara Finstrom live at Walter Reed Middle School in North Hollywood with the latest. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. That's right. State leaders just announcing that starting March the 12th, California is no longer going to require masks to be worn inside schools like this one or inside child care facilities, although they will continue to strongly recommend it and individual counties can put tougher restrictions in place. Earlier this morning, we spoke with families here who are anticipating this change. Is one we can't really see our faces. Eighth grader Johnny Estrada is relieved California may drop its indoor school mask mandate today. He's become a teenager during the roughly two years since the pandemic started. So the last time you were without a mask in school was sixth grade. It's a big change. Mm -hmm. Today, state leaders are expected to announce health officials will no longer require the pandemic precaution, but will continue strongly recommending it. Health data suggests the country is exiting the latest COVID surge. And LA and most California counties have already said vaccinated people can forego masks in almost all other indoor settings. I mean, it's hot. They learn better. They can pay attention instead of fidgeting on their face. So I'm happy if they get rid of the mask mandate at schools. People strongly opposed to masking in schools have staged protests, but surveys suggest they are a vocal minority. The latest UC Berkeley poll found 61% still supported the mask mandate in schools, while 37% disapproved. The remaining were undecided. Some parents are concerned about younger unvaccinated children. Others would just like to wait a little longer. I think we're all in pretty much agreement that it's appropriate to take masks off and safe for a lot of people. It's really a question of, is it now? Or will it be in a couple of weeks? Any lifting of the mandate would be tied to transmission levels in counties, and the requirement could be put back in place if things change. Mom Lorena Leone is hoping for a restoration of some normalcy for now. To feel comfortable in the school again, to feel um, to feel more social. I feel honestly that they probably weren't as social. California making this move along with Oregon and Washington. We expect to learn much more this afternoon. State leaders will be kind of laying this out for us. Uh, DeMarco, Suzanne, again, we're talking about March the 12th as the final date, uh, or actually the first date at which this will be lifted. Uh, that falls on a Saturday, so for most kids, it's going to be the following Monday, the 14th. Oh, yes, as a parent of an LAUSD child, I am marking my calendar now. Cara, thank you.